So if you're a regular on this channel, I do cover a lot of Blender add-ons, it's my forte, it's my thing, it's, it's what turns me on. <laughs> oh, good way to start the video, Steph. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. What an intro that was. I just couldn't get the words out. What? No, I still can't. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck it. I went to the download link. I clicked on go to file, but there's dozens of files listed. Do I download them all? Yes, you download them all. <laughs> so obviously there is an issue with users being able to download from GitHub or not understanding the file structure. Oh my God. I've, I've completely lost the plot. I'm just making this as one video. I cannot be asked to edit it. But I just noticed there's an actual comment here. I'm so glad that Shrek is teaching me the Blender necessities. Uh, cheers much, you dick. <laughs> Look, if you're going to pick a Shrek reference or a Michael Myers reference, make it the Saturday Night Live sketch. Well, it's crap. I'll put it in now. Welcome to all things Scottish. Our slogan is, if it's no Scottish, it's crap! <laughs> So let me go on to GitHub. I covered this the last time and it was Action Recorder. Now this is technically one whole add-on. It's one add-on, it's wrapped into a package. You can see here we actually have an initiate.py and we actually have a config.py. So all these files belong to the one add-on. And if you go to code, you can see here we can download this as a zip file. Now obviously I'm inside of the master and in terms of the way GitHub works is you can have a fork. So somebody takes the project and then forks it. The master is pretty much the original file. You can see here forks here. So all you need to do is download that zip file and install the add-on like any other add-on. Now sometimes the way the file structure works is they actually have two zip files. So they'll zip a zip. So sometimes you might need to go into that and take that folder out and then re-zip it and then run the add-on. So just be careful with that. What I recommend you do is you actually sign up to GitHub. It's worth it in the long run to be honest. But Let's say, for example, you just have a .py file. So you have an add-on, which is a package of files, or you can just run a Python file. So for example, here I have skipframe.py. So a lot of people will come to a page like this, they'll click on this and they'll get a whole bunch of text. Now, what the hell do you do? Because when you go up here, there's nothing. When you go to go to file, it'll take you back. One thing that I recommend you don't do is, most people will right-click and they'll save as, but this will actually save it with the HTML header data. So as soon as you go to run it, it will error out. The best thing to do is go to raw and then go to save as. And this will save it as a .txt file. Then what I recommend you do is, is you actually go into something like notepad. You can see here, it saved it as skipframe.py.txt and just save it as a .py file. So you can change this to something like Python if we go all the way down here. And just as a very quick side note, what you can actually do is you can open up Blender, you can go to script and you can go to new. And this raw data, we can actually copy it and we can paste it in. We can rename it to skip frame and then we can actually go to text and save as and that will actually save it as a .py file. And you should be able to actually run it from here. Anyway, that's GitHub. If you've got any questions, I do apologise for that intro for the video. My God, my brain is fucked. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. <sighs> Take care and have a nice weekend.